Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Friday, November 2nd. I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast, and I'm going to theme this edition the Hurricane Sandy edition of TVMI. I have to tell you, in all my years, and that's a very long time, I have uh, reached that half century mark. In all my years, I have never seen a storm like Hurricane Sandy, and I hope I never see this again. The good news is I survived it. Our house survived it. A lot of homes in our area did not make it. I was very fortunate. I was sitting in my house Monday evening. It was about 6 o'clock, and the storm was getting very bad. Our lights were flickering. As I'm sitting and looking in the backyard, I saw my neighbor's tree get lifted from the backyard and tossed into another neighbor's house. Then a huge tree in front of our house just went completely down across the street. Fortunately, we didn't lose any trees. Our house was not damaged. We did lose electricity. This is our fourth day without it. I have to give the folks in Walnut Grove on Little House on the Prairie a lot of credit to get through life without electricity. It is not easy. I have been surviving using my Sprint card, which is only working sporadically, and coming to the local World Gym to recharge my laptop and my electronics. I am currently at the World Gym where I am doing this video cast. I have not watched TV all week, which for somebody named Mr. TV is not an easy thing to do. The Long Island Railroad is still not operating on my branch, so I have not been into the city. But I have to say the devastation in the area was pretty severe. I mean, we basically do not have electricity in 90% of Long Island, or we didn't have electricity. Little by little, it is coming back. They've told us it could be seven to 10 days. I hope it is before that because it is not fun and it's getting colder. We don't even have um, street lights. Most of the local stores are still not open. And it really is something I've never seen in, in, in this lifetime. Very, very scary. Hopefully we'll never see it again. In terms of the world of television, I have to begin by thanking my co-worker Douglas Pucci for helping me out enormously. He lives in the Bronx and he has had electricity, so he's been posting on the website all week. I have managed to get the newsletter out. I've been doing so early in the morning in my house uh, without any heat, in the dark, getting it out. So it hasn't been easy, but I'm trying my best. Um, in terms of what's happening in television, you know, a few items of note. ABC has picked up sitcom The Neighbors for the remainder of the season. They've ordered nine additional episodes. Uh, at this point, they may want to reconsider that given the current rating status. It just sunk to a series low. FX picked up sitcom Wilfred for a third season. They've ordered 13 new episodes for 2013. And then drama, USA drama, Common Law, has been canceled after one season. It is now, um, it only averaged 2.1 million viewers for its first and only season. On today's newsletter, I have an update on the 21 new series this season. As I said, Neighbors is the latest change that got the back end order. I have the status of all the shows on the newsletter today. And hopefully I will be back in Manhattan on Monday where I'll be doing the video cast. I believe we have internet usage in the office, so it will be a lot easier if I could get in. Right now, as I said, the um, railroad is still not operating on the branch that I take. And that is our daily video cast from TV Media Insights. I hope anyone on the East Coast who was affected by Hurricane Sandy, I hope you're doing okay. As I said, I know a number of people that lost their homes. I was fortunate. I did not. I want to thank everybody for joining me. I hope everybody has a great weekend, and I hope to be back on Monday from our office in Manhattan with more news about my favorite medium, television. Signing off, Mark Berman.